Hey Nicola, how you doing? Here's Chris in the flesh talking straight to you. I thought this would be good because we've been talking back and forth a little bit. And um, I want to see what your take is on uh, me making a video just for you. I know we've, we've written these long things to where we don't have a good flow in the conversation, for me anyway. <clears throat> I often prepare myself for little talks like this, but I'm just going to kind of go off the cuff. I think my ego wanted to be a certain way to prepare for things. But uh, I'll just talk away and you know see, see what you make of all this. Anyway, alright, so you wrote to me that you don't have a webcam. I don't either. It is something I'd like to do in the future. Um, I can handle pauses and things like that in order to get someone live. That doesn't bother me. Um, so, yeah, you prefer live talk. We'll see if we can get to that. I actually had to look up um, where Macedonia is. I thought it was near Greece. And, wow, you're really far away. And uh, I can only imagine that you have some sort of a heavy accent or something. I have to make all that up in my head. Realizing it's my ego making you up the way I think I need you to be to fit into all my learning lessons and friendships and relationships that I manifest. So that's one of the reasons why I like doing things live. Um, let's see. Yeah, chat rooms are noisy. Private talking would be really nice. And like I say, we can have a little bit better flow. Um, let's see. Alright, so you wrote, you do not need to relate to the person, only the being inside. The personality is the front anyways. Okay, now, I know you're quite well read, and I'm reading a lot of what you <clears throat> wrote, so in not knowing who you are, that could be extremely intimidating to me, and I'm going to take the risk anyway, because, ah, facing fears, am I afraid of talking to you? No. <coughs> I'm afraid of looking like an ass. Well, I've done plenty of that. That doesn't matter either. But I'm going to throw this at you since we're, you know, I'm hanging out with you in toll mode and all this. I was going to write back to you, but this is why I decided to do a video instead. Just to see, um, just to see what you have to say back. This is, this, I find this stuff really fun. So I wrote to you. Alright. I, I have some stuff, but I don't think it's a direct quote, but I know this goes right along the lines of how he thinks. I wrote, <clears throat> who are we? We are the space, the space between the ego and formlessness. Um, so in other words, we are formlessness expressing ourselves in human form. And as long as we are in human form, we are going to own an ego. And to be able to express yourself in human form with your ego, as long as you're using your ego from the heart, oh, I think it's just so wonderful to watch people be who they are with all their mannerisms and all their oh, quirks and way of saying things and all their different quotes and all those things. Just to see them in type is a little flat, you know. I, I think people have incredible intentions. I think people can write beautifully. I think I the way I write is I try to throw my personality in there and uh, does it come across 100%? No, no. So things sometimes need to be adjusted or whatever. But that's why, that's why I like doing things live. You know, I do hair. And I'm used to the person. I'm used to touching them and feeling them. And that gives me such a feel for who they are. So the two of us, whoever I'm with, can calibrate into a place where both of us meet um, in the most uh, most authentic place to be able to serve the relationship to its most authentic, what's that word? Oh, it's not coming to me. I'll blurb it in later. Um, <clears throat> anyway, um, you know, and I think if you got a chance to watch the video of um, me flying up to see rain and getting everybody else to go up there and see rain, um, I know that's the gift that I seem to have on this site. I tell everybody that I don't read the books that are this thick. I'm more of being in present moment because I'm having fun with my ego and putting it to the best intentions possible. For us to have been on a site like this for a year and a half and for me to invest all this time in people that I couldn't feel, 
was causing me a great deal of uh, pain, disappointment. I was making big changes in my life from people that I couldn't, I couldn't believe in 100% because I, I, they weren't here three-dimensionally. So I started telling people to, you know, start making videos so we can connect with each other and start making videos so you can see how much your ego is, um, plays into the picture. But, um, uh, then we got into the phone conversations and wow, wow, how neat, how neat is it? I mean, here I am, I know I've done this before when I've talked to somebody in particular, it almost feels like they're, they feel really special, like a little celebrity and stuff like that. And that's not my point, but but it is, I, I am trying to touch your heart in a, in a more mindful, special way. <clears throat> and the fact that we did all, I was able to motivate people to see each other this year, and I also did that last year. I've got a video on that. And the fact that I made a video to it, yes, we all have egos. We all have really neat personalities. Can you believe what you saw, you know, with, with how, how incredible these people are? It's okay to have an ego and use it, and it's okay if it causes you a little bit of abrasion to keep teaching you to escort yourself back to present moment. <clears throat> to have it all good and right and perfect, eh, I know you're not doing that either, but <clears throat> but it's not as fun. Plus, um, how do I put it? I was at the Rain Sufi house, and I got to talk to the head sheikh, which is like the head Sufi master guy. I don't know, big words. <clears throat> but anyway, I spent five minutes in his company, and he was from a place of pure present moment, pure high vibrations, pure love, but it had no flamboyancy to it. And there is nothing wrong with either or. I love being in his presence, especially as high a vibration as he has had. He definitely calibrated me to a place of completely diminished ego for, you know, a good chunk of time. But, you know, I love to love. I love to feel people. I love to be expressive. And, <clears throat> you know, not understanding completely where you're coming from because we've only had a couple of, you know, long replies to one another. I'm just flying by the seat of my pants, just, you know, making some guesses and stuff. But I wanted to connect with you a little bit more. And I haven't grabbed someone this fast right away, but um, you intrigued me, and I think you could teach me a lot. Um, and, uh, uh, yeah, I would hate to miss out on any closeness um, just by the fact that there's only uh, type to uh, get to uh, have some sort of a manifested relationship. I don't know what I'm doing for you in this relationship, but I know both people manifest each other to, you know, teach and learn. So, anyway, mm, it's a little wordy. But I wanted to um, get this out there and give you a little surprise. Surprise! And uh, well, let's see what you have to say back, okay? Tag. You're it. Bye.